Hey guys, we're here for Fairytale 352. I'm gonna make this real quick and short as best as I can. You know, I tend to run on a little faster than I should. <clears throat> so, anyways, I apologize daily. I've been sick lately, so I haven't really had much time to get up and do it. But uh <clears throat> excuse me. This chapter was uh this started out pretty pretty average, you know, it was it was a very basic, not too complex, not too much detailed chapter. It was basically Natsu versus that bird demon. You know, we got a little fighting here. Natsu hits him. He hits back. Natsu fires at him. He fires a beam that knocks Natsu down or something and goes towards the giants, which scares the hell out of Flair. Then Natsu does that comical mouth with the sharp teeth kind of open thing <clears throat> and fires a f flame ball or something like that at him, knocking him out of the way. And then he ends up knocking him into what seems to be and turns out to be the Eternal Flames Fire Pit, which is where the flame has been held, you know. So I guess as as one huge ass flame as it was before. And then he fires it up as Flair tells him, you know, he could start the flame up, I guess, you know, or not Flair, but you know, they're someone mentions that I think it was Lucy that he can start the fire up, you know, it's being a dragon slayer. And wouldn't you know it, when he does, it turns out to be Atlas. Now, it could be anything from Atlas to Atlas is just flames, but he is the flame. He's just he's just the pure flame. But then, I mean, you got a barbecue roasted bird, so that's always good, right? I mean, I don't know who that bird is, but he's bound to, or wherever he came from, that has to have some kind of connection to something later on because, you no. Know, with only Merniva, with Urza, and then the rest of the group here, the, the looters or whatever, they've been beaten, you know, the demon's been beaten, the bird's been beaten, there's no real enemies, now the flame is back. This might, either might be a really short ass uh, chapter, or not chapter, but um, arc, or mission for the job that is. Or there's gonna be some kind of attack later. It could be two chapters, it could be five chapters from now, we don't know. But there's bound to be something to keep it going unless Hero decides to make it a short chapter or a mission. But you know, he goes, it's been 400 years, son of Ignea, you know. So we have the truth behind the Eternal Flame is that it's Natsu's real, you know, companion really, who he fought along during the Grand Magic Game Tournament. And it seems to be he's by this, um... Fire Dragon Atlas Flame. So it seems to be just Atlas's flame. I guess. Which wouldn't make much sense. I want to say he is that, but that's just his essence of soul, you know, since it's been so long or whatever. I don't I don't want to say he's just a flame, but I don't know. Uh Spirit was revived by Natsu or the light fire. I actually want to say that maybe either he hasn't really been there. Or it was some kind of connection to when he ate Atlas's flames, which you know probably connected to the whole able ability to bring the Eternal Flame back. Back, but it's probably not. I want to say I, I kind of thought about this, but it was a little predictable. But it wasn't so predictable that I can say I called it because I didn't call it. In, I call. I think I mentioned Atlas in a video, but I didn't upload it. I guess, but. It doesn't matter. The point is that now we know who it is. We know it's Atlas. You know, there's, so, you know, he's basically dragged me out of fire, which is really good. <clears throat> if not to get hungry, again. So, you know, now I'm curious what this has to do. You know, he's gonna know something. He's been here for 400 years, watching over this village. It seems, or not to just put on the fire he ate from Atlas into the pit. But you know, he's bound to know something. And you know, the next chapter is bound to get, you know. With the next chapter, 353, the dark magics purification. <clears throat> you know, the dark magics purification. So that sounds like it's going to be some kind of magic that, from some dark guild or whatever, maybe Zara himself, that makes some kind of purification that rids the place of something. Something bad, catastrophic, or at least in that area, which kind of worries me of what it could be. So hopefully, you know, I covered as much. I wouldn't say this. It was a very basic chapter with a very good ending. I really liked that ending. It was something I, I wasn't enough expecting enough to actually say, oh, look, it's Atlas. It was, it was kind of like, oh, my God, it's Atlas. That's pretty cool. So hopefully, you know, this answers some of your questions. It answers some of mine. It gets us a little more detail of what we need to know. 
<clears throat> and you know hopefully you rate comment subscribe like this video you know comment what you think you know so don't forget to subscribe so you can get the best out of you know my videos and as always have a good day